Today is the day we're going to try finding locations for my vending machine. I'm trying to grow this vending machine business and the only way I could do that is by finding locations for these candy machines. First, as you can tell, I'm low on inventory. So I'm gonna show you where I buy my stuff. Hey, this is between me and you, all right? I'm gonna tell you my plug. Don't tell anybody. After I fill them up, I'm just gonna go ahead up locations, hoping somebody says yeah. But there's only one way to find out. Let's go. bubble gum because I have a lot of bubble gum to give. I'll probably switch candies next month. You know maybe try some Ike and Mike's. I heard these are real popular. They're good. This, this one. Good and plenty. Some medicine. I don't know. Let me know what candies you guys want me to try next. Girls. And this this M&M was $9.99. And that's it. Let's go. I'm going to use all this product to fill up these machines so they could look real good and presentable for the businesses. I got too many. Look at this. Look at this. And then, uh, and then look. Deep. Let me ask you. How do you label keys? Like, how do you know which one is for what vending machine? Do you just memorize it? I'm thinking of coloring them a different color, so that way I know. So 62 ounces, pretty much half an ounce, like I said, is a quarter, half an ounce. If half an ounce is one transaction, that means this is 124 transactions. I divide 9.99, which is what it costs, by 124, and that tells you how much each transaction, each half an ounce of candy, it costs you. This is 54 ounces, so do the math again. The machines give out about half an ounce, so it will be 108 transactions. Divide how much this costs by 108, and that's how much you have your cost per half an ounce. Oh, nah, I didn't try to. Oh, oh what happened right there? The metal broke. Wow. That's it. Vanstar 3000. The lock broke on one of them. Like a hundred dollar even machine of plastic. Vanstar 3000. Nah, man. And I can't even give this candy away because how the metal broke. You know, there's small traces of metal. And as a business owner, you have to think about your customers and the kids first. I can't give this candy out. I mean, I'll eat these M&Ms, but I ain't gonna give them to nobody else. There you go. I saw these candies. I'm gonna just put in a container. And the 
leave that right here. So I'll wash it later. All right. Well, one candy vending machine is already out of commission, and I haven't even put it anywhere. Once again, don't buy the Vestar 3000. Don't buy it. If you want to see the video where I reviewed the Vestar 3000, check it out right here. But now you know, piece of dookie. Don't buy it. These right here, these are the good stuff. This cost me 105 from the Gumball Machine Warehouse. Link in the description below. All metal, baby. And of course, they have so many different types of vending machine as well. Double head, two head vending machines. They got three head vending machines. They got candies, they got capsules. They got all you need. Let them know Ray sent you. All right. And this bad boy only cost me $85. I've been making a lot of vending machine videos. So if you wanna see the video where I review this one and this one, check it out right here. I just got this haircut. I'm gonna go to the barber shop that I went to because they don't have any candy vending machines. I'm gonna tell them, hey, you remember me? I came in the other day. I have a vending machine business. Do you mind if I put one of these vending machines in your location? It helps a lot with the customers and I will give you a 10% commission of everything I make. What do you say? You know, some of you guys are saying, Ray, you gotta work on my sales pitch. Yo, leave me alone. At least I'm trying, all right? So I'm gonna be recording with this phone. I'm gonna show them the pictures with this phone and the homie Kenny Savage is gonna be recording with this camera. See how it goes? So that was a no, but we got to keep trying. Let's go. <laughs> Three people already beat me to it. Let's go to another location. I'm gonna go try another auto body shop. <laughs> I have to get at least one location today. At least one location today. Let's go get it. Hey, if they say no, yeah, I'm gonna go to the to the thrift shop that's right right there, right behind there. They said they can't authorize it, but it gave me the business card to the boss. Let's go see what's up. We're going to, we got to follow on this lead. He said he might do it, which is the owner, but I got to make sure I say 10%. So we'll see what's <laughs> up. We'll see what's up. This is going to be the last place I asked for today because I have a busy day. So hopefully they say yes. Hopefully she has another thrift shop. Hopefully she lets me put both one in each thrift shop. Oh man, cross your fingers. Hey, but that's it. If you like this video, subscribe because I'm always making videos like this. Like hey, I'm playing. I ain't gonna let you guys hang in like that. Let's go. And then 
the gumball machine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna say she's probably not gonna be interested. Yeah. Just because we have our own ministry with candy and we sell candy for our uh, uh, baseball team. Yeah, yeah. So more than likely she's gonna say no. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about no, that. No, I appreciate it. Well, okay. you have a great day. If you ever wondered what striking out looks like, it looks like this. And I know what you're thinking. Boreas! You need a better sales pitch. Boreas! You have to take your glasses off so you can make direct eye contact with the person. Look, let's be honest. I am upset I didn't get a location today. But that's how it is. Not every swing will be a home run. So what do you do? You give up or you keep trying? When something isn't working or it isn't giving you the results you want, you need to change what you're doing or try something completely different. I need a new marketing strategy because the reason I'm not getting locations is because the locations don't know who I am, they don't trust me, and they might not see the benefits of having a candy vending machine or a gumba machine in their locations you need to get creative find a cause to help your sales pitch collaborate with a fundraiser offer the location a new opportunity this is what i want from a new strategy i want the location to know me so we could network i want the location to see the benefit of having a gumball machine in their location i also want them to come to me i'm wasting too much gas and time going to locations just to get rejected. I know what I want from this new strategy, but what would the location get from this? I want them to get more business. It's the win-win philosophy. I notice every time I go into a deal where everybody wins, I win. But everybody needs to get something they truly want. Not every business cares about 10% off a machine that only makes a quarter at a time. Not every business cares about having candy in their locations. You have to give them something they want. And what is something every location wants? More business. Of course, this strategy might not be for you and that's fine. You will need to spend time finding the right strategy for you. I'm about to change the game on this vending machine business. But it will take time. It will take time. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more vending machine videos, check out my playlist. Subscribe so you can see what new strategy I come up with and I'll see you in my next video.